see we pulled the sides off of the 34 coupe. We're getting ready to install some hood hinges so we can get the hood on. The hinges that we have here are specialty piano style hinges. And I must stress, be very, very careful once you get them on because they're if there's any type of twist or bend, this gets weak and your hinges are ruined. And we, uh, since we're at a shop here, uh, we use air tools, but uh, by all means do whatever is necessary. We're going to be drilling out these hinges to use our bolts that are not supplied. I would recommend going to your local hardware store and uh, the bolts that we got are stainless Allen heads, three quarters of an inch long, and they're actually designed to fit into the threads of the Street Beast posts. But the only problem is we're going to have to drill out our hinges to accommodate the bolts. Whether you wanted to use a set of vice grips or a vice, safety is our number one key. So safety glasses and gloves. Now what we're doing is making these holes bigger so those screws are accommodated to it. And be very, very careful. Just drill according uh, as straight as you can. getting ready to install our hinges on the rails to get our hood going. We want to make sure that uh, the hinge part goes out towards the, uh, you, not towards your vehicle. And we're going to hold them and make sure that the uh, holes that we drilled accommodate the bolts. And we're going to take our first screw and lightly start it by hand. Go ahead and get the other one on there. And there we go. There's a, a one. Now here we are tightening up the last screw. And we uh, want to make sure we get everything tight. Because with these high, high performance motors we don't want anything vibrating loose. We're going to get our test panel now our side panel, and we're going to test fit it, see if we have to make any more room for our hinges where we chopped our fiberglass out, make sure everything fits good, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll also be looking at clearance on the hood to see if we need to make any more adjustments. As you see, uh, we have everything countersunk screwed down and we went ahead and got the other side taken care of too. Now keep in mind for the hood there's two pins that uh, actually go in there so I I bored out the fiberglass so uh, uh, there's plenty of room for them to catch. And as Pete said earlier uh, we take a pin and, and you'll feel the natural, the pin will uh, follow its own, and you just go all the way around. And we're going to want to cut to about there for minimal sanding, okay? All this is coming off. Once again, uh, we want to do everything as safely as possible, and since we're going to be accumulating more uh, fiberglass dust, I went ahead and got my safety mask. Going to be drilling these pilot holes. Pick a natural corner to start at. 
Me personally, I'm right-handed, so I'll probably start on this side and work my way around. I want to show you, uh, cut as close as you can, but you don't want to get into the ink. Uh, but uh, if, if you're cutting further out, that's just the more sanding you're going to have to do, so try to get as a precise cut as you can. Roughly cut out, you see how much meat I left along the edge of the grill. And uh, working at a body shop, you come to find out prep is the most important thing of a paint job. So uh, get, get you a chair, piece of 36 grit sandpaper, and a little bit of time, and just slowly. Can't forget the safety uh, equipment. You just take your time. Uh, and uh, after a few uh, uh, seconds, you you're wanting to sand it where it's like uh, that centerpiece was never there at all. I'll be working my way. I've all already the way ran, it. Uh, smoothed out all the lip on here, and I'll be taking the 80 grit. And, and uh, whenever I finish up, it'll be looking like this, nice and ready to go, where it looks like it was never had the grill insert in there before. Check out southwestridingcustom.com, or if you got any questions, call me at, my name's Pete, 972-420-1293, and if this is an interesting uh, job to you, or something that you might want to accomplish at home, you can call Street Beast. <laughs>